What's up y'all, it's T-Turn. Today we're gonna be looking at Ku's latest teasers for the Indigo disc, and if we have some time, we'll look at some of y'all's theories. So let's go. So last time we left off, of course, Ku tweeted this about ILCA saying they were working on a new game, and it's been a mystery. Especially when you pair it with this teaser where he posts the region of Kanto, Johto, Unova, and Paldea, and says it's his 2024 prediction. And then especially when you pair this teaser with a very old teaser from a few months ago where he was starting to tease black and white and Unova related content with the other Chinese Riddler talking about, you know, original black and white and then some paradox black and white. We don't really know what they were talking about back then, but since there was this Unova speculation going on earlier, it would sound pretty possible that 2024 were jumping into Unova. So pairing Unova with Unova being on this and then him mentioning ILCA, it's not far-fetched to maybe say ILC is working on BDSP like remakes for the Unova region. But then there's another teaser he added to this as well, where with this prediction he writes, Wow, found the clue. All titles entitled with colors. Okay, so, uh, you know, he's put some sarcasm here, but what he's saying pretty much is the four regions he's mentioned have to do with the colors. So, you know, red and blue for Kanto or yellow, gold and silver for Johto, crystal I guess don't count, black and white for Unova, scarlet and violet for Paldia, but the fact that he tweeted that is kind of a hint that that's probably not what he's talking about. Especially not within the same day he's not telling us the answer. It sounds like he tweeted this because it was a funny coincidence that they're all color related games, which it's not that hard to do. You just gotta exclude... Well, I guess it's kind of hard. You gotta exclude Gen 3, 4, and 6. And 8. But yeah, now we can move past this. So here's his next teaser. Next teaser Coop post is this one where he puts a picture of Gym Leader Jasmine on the magneton. You could have picked any photo but this. And he writes... What happened to Sudachi 2? Did they give up on promotion? Now, I don't know. Game Freak, the Pokemon company is actually stupid. It doesn't take a genius, you know? You, you know, we think, wow, they're this quintillion dollar company. Whatever they're doing for the hype season, it's probably for the best. It's not, they're stupid. It's like Game Freak, or I don't know if I can add Game Freak into the mix. Let's just say the Pokemon company. It's like they don't plan ahead and they also plan ahead at the same time. It's like Pokemon is like, in every show, you know how there's that like gifted character who everything's handed to him and they're just OP and then there's another character that's ass and they have to work for it? Pokemon is like that. They don't know what they're sitting on. They literally fart out products and they are demolishing companies that have to work their ass off. Like I know most of y'all probably know Nintendo. I mostly know it too. But if you look at games like God of War, I, I can't really name any others right now. It takes like a hundred Pokemon Scarlet and Violets to make one God of War and Scarlet and Violet gets like twice the sales. Masada's on his fart throne, super jetting a hundred Pokemon products worth trillions. So this is why Pokemon is stupid, right? You're supposed to keep people interested. Like they're so ass at keeping people interested that this is what they do. They disappear from the hype season and then to remind fans that they still exist, they spoil or in the most soulless way reveal Walking Wake and Iron Leaves, go catch them as a terror raid. You know, the only reason they revealed Paradox, Raikun, Kabalion is to just be like, hey guys, don't forget about us. That's how ass they are at their hype season. Now, I'll give them credit because they, it's at least a, a step up from Alola's hype season where their idea of hyping people up was to spoil everything possible in the games. But think about it. It is not difficult at all to make even an ass trailer like every two weeks just remind people it will translate to like an extra million sales think about the god of war example i just said pokemon is the gifted child that gets everything handed to them i can't i don't even know one freaking fist on kratos was worked harder on than all of scroll and violet i'm joking when i say that but i'm replaying the games without the new factor and i'm realizing why people are complaining about the games it's kind of funny but i'm still enjoying it legit i'm gonna say it right here pokemon they gotta be ashamed of themselves it's like today if we snapped and pokemon disappeared from everyone's minds they can't rebuild their company they can't make a new game as good as that i don't know y'all let me know in the comments i bet you the average fan the uh, the below average fan can do a better hype season than them. All right, let's go to the next Koo teaser. So remember when Koo posted this, a picture of Spectreer and an Amherst, and he writes, are you ready? And it seemed to be a hint at one, a bunch of legendaries returning in the post game for us to capture. And then two, maybe that they're not shiny locked. Well, he adds to it. Very recently, he added to the tweet saying, according to a Chinese data miner, all the legendary static encounters got leaked. He's telling us there are 25 
legendary static encounters in the post game which is good man maybe it's not appropriate to call them static all in all they are the ones available to catch in game without via home or seven star raids they're not raid events so will the rest that aren't in game encounters be raid events like Mewtwo seems like that. Okay, so then ones that aren't the 25 are raid events, but these 25, they might have some spirit put in them. Maybe they won't be as far as actual static encounters like spread around the region. Y'all remember what I said last time? If Trubagus is a dream Pokemon, just make, <laughs> just put them all around the region. It doesn't have to be explained. Trubagus put them there. It's not like y'all didn't already F it up and make like 18 Diagas. But even if it's not statics, it sounds like there's some mini game crap you can do to just unlock all the legendaries one by one I'm, I'm proud of you game freak it's like a four year old i'm giving them the sticker anyhow then very recently he posted a picture which seems to be the answers see this photo here he puts a big caption with this photo but to explain it it seems like the 25 pokemon they were extracted from scarlet and violet 2.0.1 so this is the Teal Mask update, but it's not the legendaries themselves that seem to have the indicator that they're statics. Ku is saying, what was that in mind are just 25 new items named after these 25 legendaries. So that's how he's saying these are the statics. So it seems like however this mini game works, or it could be like the Hoopa portals, it might be something where you pick up like an Articuno feather and then you go to this place and then you can find Articuno. So here are the 25 Pokemon here. That'd be really weird, eh? If along with the rainbow and silver wing, you get like freaking ice wing. But yeah, we got the three legendary birds and the three dogs. Of course, they'd have those three dogs. You think there's any NPCs in game talking about comparing them to the paradoxes? They're freaking imagination at this point, but I want to see people talk about it. To counterpart the beast, we have the three musketeers, of course. Lugia and Ho-Oh, Latias and Latios, Kyogre and Rayquaza. Wow, bro, these would be so cool to find around Paldia. Y'all yeah, remember in like Tears of the Kingdom where you'll see like a dragon flying around? Imagine, all right, Kyogre is exclusive to one game, Groudon is exclusive to the other, but once you get the both, just like how it unlocks it in Auras and you can find Rayquaza, in this game, when you have both Kyogre and Groudon in your Pokedex, you freaking see the Rayquaza roaming the skies. I could cry. What the frick are you doing? What are you even programming in your Pokemon games? I'm not even freaking asking for much. All right, then we got uh, Zekrom and Reshiram, which is pretty cool, and Kyurem. You think they might be putting these guys in anticipation of some Unova stuff? And then we have uh, Sogleo, Lunala, Necrozma, and then Kubfu and Spectre and Glacier. Kubfu's an interesting one. They changed the way it evolves in the sense that you don't need to go to the towers. You can just give it a scroll. But that's a nice one to find a Kubfu somewhere. Like, especially the Kubfu, man. It does not sound like you just find that guy in a portal. You know what I'm imagining? If they wanted to make it as simple as possible, you just go to area zero and there's just like a giant crystal that when you look into, it's like wild rush I'm attacked. You know, that's all Game Freak gonna come up with. I, I gotta stop yelling at them. But am I wrong guys? Like, let's give them some bonus points. I'm super happy with Scarlet and Violet, how they built this mystery and gave us a whole year to let this mystery sizzle with an actual interesting discussion of time travel versus imagination. This is one of the most fun hype seasons I've had in Pokemon since X and Y. And that was mostly just anticipation. This is an actual ongoing mystery. So I'll give them that, but don't even make me start it. All right, and we end this video with one last tweet, which seems to be hinting something interesting in the Indigo disc. So this is the tweet here. It's a teaser, and he's written some words in Japanese, okay? There's two words. It says, Terapisu Sutera, as in Terapisu Stella. So it's started to lead to speculation that this might be the 19th type. So for example, if I go to Bulbapedia, when you see what they call the Terra Shards in Japanese, it's literally called a Terra Pisu. Okay, I'll stop. So Ku just wrote Terra Pisu Stella. <laughs> so it's the 19th type called Stella. Game Free, I'm gonna strangle you. The Tropicus, the almighty Stella typing. We can't let it go into it. But you know, the way Stella is written, it's literally Terra with just Su in front of it. Stera right so maybe in a way it's not the 19th type name but either way if it's not the name of the 19th type what it could be is 
just the name of the shard that you know you have to collect a bunch of shards to change your terror types the fire shards electric shards and all so maybe once you go to the end of this you'll start to find stella terror shards and all they are is just like this omni typed terror shard but it's just what the terror shards are called and not necessarily the 19th type itself let's see what comments say trailer is coming yeah, in your dreams i mean let a trailer come a trailer has to come, by the way, because it's coming out in two weeks. So Game Freak's gonna wake up from their slumber and be like, oh, we need to get them hyped in the least imaginative way possible. They might even freaking reveal Entei and Terrakion. That confirms the 19th type is the stellar type. Oh, hell no. Nah. Didn't I make fun of this word last time? Do not be stellar. Isn't that a verb that is very stellar? I mean, adjective? Could the 19th terror type be called stellar type and tipo estelar in Spanish? I'd rather you go Spanish on it, bro. Call it estelar, even in English. I don't want stellar. What if the 19th type is called the indigo type? Is the new type called the jewel type? Terror shard stellar relating to Tropagus's star eyes? Hmm, star terrestrial? Wouldn't that be too similar to team star? Yo, a star typing. It, it, it sounds a bit fairy tale but it's better than Stella. I mean, Stellar. It would be nice if Team Star unintentionally nailed the name, like the basis of Tropagus. All right, what do y'all think? Do you guys think the 19th type is called Stellar? And if not, what do you think the 19th type is called? Because this could just be the name of a Terra shirt or it could, could just be trolling. You know, Gimpy puts out a trailer introducing the new 19th Terra Stellar type. I've depressed myself. <laughs> I'm just joking around, y'all. Maybe I'm not, but make sure I'll let me know your thoughts in the comments. What's the type called? And we'll see if we get a trailer soon. Shank that like button. I'll see y'all. Take care.